boys. What are you going to do this fine Saturday? Well, I'm going over to Lumpy's. We're going to work on his car. Well, Wally, isn't it running good? No, Dad. It's a f***ing piece of s***. <laughs> Super. Well, Beef, what are you doing today? Well, Dad, Freddy Mondello is coming over today and we're going to goof around. Well, I don't think that's a good idea. Ward and I are going shopping today and I don't want you and Larry home alone. Well, Wally, looks like you're going to have to stay home with Beaver and Larry. F*** that. Ward, I don't like Wally talking like that. I wonder what has gotten into Wally. Well, it's because he's hanging around that Eddie Haskell too much. Oh, really? Yeah, that Eddie's a f***ing son of a bitch. <laughs> well, Ward, I guess we can't go shopping then. Oh, geez, Mom. I'm old enough to stay here by myself. I won't start anything on fire or kill anybody or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, B, you're right. You're old enough. Well, June, let's go shopping. What do you want to do today? Oh, I don't know. Well, let's go to your dad's office and look for nudie magazines. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Larry. We might get in trouble. My dad will give us the business then. <laughs> Come on, Beeb. We won't get in trouble. Are you chicken? You think we won't get in trouble? Come on. Well, I don't know, Larry. I mean, my father will really get mad at us if we do that. No. Well, fine. I'll do it without you, then. Well, okay, I guess I'll go, too. Gee, Beef, there isn't even one nudie magazine in here. Yeah, I know, Larry. And I can't even find a National Geographic or anything. <laughs> well, Beef, what's your dad do for work, anyway? Oh, uh, I'm not really sure, Larry. Uh, I think he goes to an office, but uh, I'm not really sure what he does there. Gee, Beeb, maybe he's a robot. <laughs> well, I don't think so, Larry. Because my dad goes to the bathroom a lot, and he really smells like shit when he's done. <laughs> look through his stuff and find out what he does for work. <laughs> well, there's no doubt about it, Beeb. Yeah, that's right, Larry. My dad's a hitman for the mob. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you, red dinosaur! <laughs> 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 stuff to see what it is he does for a living. Beeb, you little wise guy. Dad catches you, he's gonna give you the business. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Wally, do you know what Dad does for a living? Gee, Beeb, I guess I don't. W Wally, he's, he's a hitman. <laughs> yeah, he's a hitman. He kills people and stuff. That's right, boys. I guess it's time you know. Oh, Ward, do you really have to? That's right, June, we have to. If uh, Larry and Lumpy ever tell that I'm a hitman, the Godfather will take me out and Fred will become the new boss. <laughs> yeah, Larry, you can't keep a secret. You even told Miss Landers that you could see her boobs when she bent over. <laughs> Lumpy, you're gay, so you know you're gonna blab. <laughs> oh, boys. 
time you learn the family business. Come on, Lumpy. Come on, Come on Larry. Larry. Come on. Let's go. Well, I've already been out of the house once this year. I guess I'll just stay here. <laughs> Settle down, settle down. Yes, yes Mr. Fleaver. That's better. <laughs> All right, watch carefully. Get down on your knees. Okay, Wally, Beave, you get them on your knees and then pop, pop, and it's all over. Gee, Dad, can I try? Sure, son, you make me proud. Grabs the gun. GB, that's neat! Done. Oh, Ward, I wish you wouldn't shoot them at such close range. Those blood stains are so hard to get out. track me. Oh really? How did you do? Well, I came in second. Until the kid that came in first, he had a little accident. Mm. So then they gave me first place. Well, that's wonderful, Wally. What did you do today, Beaver? Well, Mom, Richard and Whitey tried to find out why I'm called Beaver. <laughs> really, Beaver? What did you do? Well, Wally, I told those mother they could go f themselves and <laughs> Go give g and each other, and then I told them they could go take Miss Landers, and then and then after that, then I took Miss Landers myself, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> This is a kick-ass lobby. <laughs> I'll just stay here for a long time. So, uh, what are you doing here? Well, 
Well, how long have you been here? I don't know. So why, what are you doing here? I mean, it's not like you work here or anything. Why don't you ever go home? I don't know. Well, I thought you had a new roommate. Why don't you go uh, home and spend some time with your roommate? Hmm. I don't know. And, you know, you kind of stink like that woman that sits next to me at work. <laughs> I guess it's time for me to go to my really cool astronomy group where all the cool guys hang out and listen to radio signals from outer space. <laughs> radio signals from outer space? Holy cow! Aliens! Oh, oh God! Answer, answer! Okay, your turn. No, it's your turn. I just can't. Oh, I'm gonna go fight that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. No. Yeah, hey, you gotta right. go with the first one that you get. No, I didn't like yes, that Yes, you do. No, no, I No, I, you I go win. back here, I, no, you don't no, no, win. No, I'm going over you here. You don't win, you're it's back here. Lots of colors you're on it. You're back so there, no. You, you, you here, screw you. you. Key, screw you and your stupid game. You got shoots and ladders. Shoots and ladders. Shut up, the phone's ringing. Uh, hello? Hello? Scott, it's me, Mr. Helper. You what? You're getting radio signals from outer space? Yeah, I, I got aliens on the radio! You're at the park? I'm at Pervert Park! Pervert Park? Get down here right away, I'll prove it to you! Okay, we'll be right there. Come on. Mr. Helper's at Pervert Park. I don't want to go to Listening to porn or something from the outer space. Let's go. All right. Well, just sitting here waiting for them guys to show up. Mr. Helper, this is God. Wow! You look just like God does on Monty Python! Yeah, that's quite a coincidence, huh? Now are you ready to hear what I'm here for? Check, God! Okay, what do you want? I want you to build an ark and fill it with two of every kind of animal. And make sure they're male and female of each species, and no gay animals. Wow, that sounds like a better plot than this stupid alien radio thing. That's for sure. Hey, here comes Scott and Dan! Uh, what's aliens, the, aliens on the radio? What's up with that? Uh, forget that. That's what? nothing. God oh. just told me to build an ark. <laughs> an ark? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Like a lost ark or like a... A Noah's ark? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> Do it. What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm building an ark. Oh, that's an ark? Well, duh. Big. Well, just whatever. All right. But I'm almost done. I'm almost done with my art. Okay. So, and I want to work out real good. Now well, you're done. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna take a break with that art building since I'm so close to being done. Yeah. And I gotta go off and get me two of every kind of animal to put in my art. Two of every kind of animal. Every kind. Wow. Every kind. Like even fish and birds. I guess. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get started on that, so okay. I'll, well, I'll go over there and in the woods here and do do that. We'll be waiting for you. You wait here we'll and I'll be, we're, and I'll, yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. We'll be going here pretty soon. Okay. Yeah, when you well, gotta do that. You, yeah. Aren't you gonna say ready, set, go? Okay, on your marks, get set, go. I said ready, set. Oh, ready, set, go. <laughs> now this shouldn't take too long. all the animals 
tools for the ark. You really sure about that? Yep, I got everything I need now. No, you didn't. What do you mean? Well, first of all, this isn't a real bear. This is a guy in a bear suit. Huh? <laughs> second of all, this is a fat guy in a leopard thing or something. Take those glasses and mask off. It is? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be. <laughs> wow. And D, Dan, why don't you tell yeah, us D? It's my turn. I want to do one. This green thing isn't a re real green thing. It's ah, it's, ah. it's real. Ah! Ah! Don't step on the camera. Oh, oh my God! I oh. must. I must. He must be like an alien that I contacted with that that thing I was doing before God showed up. Oh god! Oh, I can't believe it. Really Man. worked. Yeah. Oh. We interrupt this program to bring you a K-Rat news update. And now it's time for a K-Rat news update with me, Santa Rat. The only news anchor with whiskers in his mouth. Blah. <laughs> Former Minnesota Twins great Kirby Puckett, or Puska, <laughs> who was recently found innocent of sexual assault charges, has announced that he will undergo gastric bypass surgery. Said Puckett, I realized my weight had become a problem when I couldn't get that woman into the bathroom stall because I was so dang fat. <laughs> I saw on TV there's a war or something going on in that they rat. And uh, Troy Nelson is monitoring the situation at the K-Rat War Update Desk. Thanks, Satterat. I live in the country, and out here we don't have cable. In fact, we don't even get Fox or UPN, because reception here is so bad. So as far as I can tell, the war is probably over. On this channel, we have CBS. There's Ronald McDonald. And over here, we have our religious network that we get out in the country. I'm really confused, since really we only get three stations out in the country, but... So it's kind of cool having four TVs. It's kind of confusing though, I don't know which one to watch. Well, back to you, Santa Rat. Anyway, before we declare the war is over, our own Dan Eisenhower is actually in Iraq and has an exclusive interview with somebody that the Iraqi government guy that says he's Saddam Hussein. I got a call at home last night from someone claiming to be Saddam, and he asked if I'd like to interview him. I said, well, sure, but I got to cancel my bowling date with my sister first. <laughs> anyway, um, they told me to meet at the Baghdad Econo Foods, and I was blindfolded and brought here to meet Saddam Hussein. So uh, you really are Saddam Hussein, right? Uh, yes, I am. I am Saddam Hussein. We're in Baghdad, Iraq, you dirty red Americans. Hey, I think it's really him. There you have it, Sanarat, the exclusive Saddam Hussein interview for K-Rat News. Thanks, Dan. I'm Santharat, and I'll be back with more K-Rat News updates when the situation warrants. Yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. Gee, what an unusual and coincidental chain of events that happened to get us to this point. Yeah, I can't believe the crazy exciting adventures we had in the last two minutes that got us to this point in the story. Well, now there's only one thing for us to do at this point in time. What's that? We need to stuff money down this sleeve stack's pants and enjoy ourselves! Woo! Yay! I hope he's a female. Action. No!